From your similar, you know it's time for another unstoppable recap. Family, we had some very interesting stories shared on Unstoppable Live, which is the main channel. You know, every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, these stories educate and inform people of situations that they should not get into or if they're in these situations they should try to get out of them as fast as possible you know so when you listen to unstoppable live these are real life situations that people face these are not made up stories these are things that people actually went through and even persons going through these kind of things right now let me tell you a little bit about this one that was shared on unstoppable live some time ago now, this lady, she had her husband in Jamaica. You know, the man wanted to migrate to the States where she was, right? And, you know, she and him, she said, well, all right, you know, that I'm a husband, so let me do what is necessary to get him where I am, right? She did the paperwork, filed for the man, all of that, and took him from Jamaica. And after she took this man from Jamaica, all hell broke loose right the man basically did not want to contribute to anything right everything when it comes to money was an issue them argue over money constantly but not only that she also expressed that the man literally had other females not a female you know females with her people take a listen to this one that was shared on unstoppable life he kept saying he wanted the family, so I went ahead and uh, I said, okay, I did the citizenship and I did the filing. I ain't gonna lie, in the back of my head, I had that this thing could go both ways. But I did what I did, before I end the show, I'm gonna say I did what I did because my, my dad wife went through what she went through with him. I'm not going to touch that story, but in spite of what he did to her and she passed through with him and her kids, she's still at the end of the day, filed for him after they were separated for years. She filed for him, brought him to the U.S. And it also brought my stepmother that he married to after her, five kids to the U.S. And those kids came to the U.S. and become women, independent women, doing great. Their kids doing great. So some of us women take stuff and we go through stuff. So in spite of that, I brought him here to say he has five kids. Someone went through what I went through and brought my dad here. So he's my husband. I gave him a chance. Nobody cannot say, okay, I came to America and he was my husband. And I, I, but no, I gave him the chance. Whatever he did, that's his choice. But anyway, I went ahead, did the paperwork, and I did the filing, found about relationship that he was having. Yes, I cry many days, many nights. And I fought through it many times, tried to give up, said, I'm going to cancel the paperwork. You know, persons encourage me, you know, go ahead, file the paperwork, maybe him come him change, and, you know, uno, you're so far, long distance, and he might come with you, and uno might work it out and change. So I had both ways in my mind that it could go both ways, but I still give it a shot. Anyway, after the paperwork came through, I went down, uh, make sure I had the two boys secured at the house, brought down as much stuff as I could take to keep them at the house for the time being, make sure bought groceries and leave in the house for them to have to supply them for a while and send them to school and all of that. And we both came to the U.S. Okay, after we came to the U.S., didn't know that he was him sneaking. I got him a phone because he just came, didn't have a phone to communicate back home, and he wanted to, I want to make sure he's able to contact his family. So I got him a phone, and my phone plan, we both on the same phone plan. Okay. Lo and behold, in the back of my mind, I'm like, he would be 
contacting whoever this woman that he was in a relationship with or whoever may be did make it bother me, I kind of pressed my way. Even though I got disrespectful before we came because the night when I, when I got through with the paperwork, I went, I booked the ticket, everything got through. So I booked the ticket, went down, and we, we came to the U.S. The night when I went down for him, the next morning, the woman was on my step, raising hell, calling him out my house. I know you're here because people tell me anytime you disappear, your wife is here and what, what, what. And I'm like, what the hell again? And the uh, person said I should tear up the ticket and left him there. But I did, I did um, ignore her as the Holy Spirit. So when you go home, don't even come out of your house. Just be inside. And she out there, cuss, 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 talk all kind of disgraceful stuff. I ignore that. We leave, come through the U.S. So, you know, my mind going to be messed up, but I keep pressing on. We came to the U.S. and uh, I was working. So, sometimes I'm working 13 days, 12 days straight, you know, making sure money go back home, assisting the kids and still running the home here. So, he was here until finally we got his, when got his social security his green card show up. So he was home for three months, not working. And I was in doing what I had to do, working my overtime and uh, making sure all the bills are taken care of. It was back to school for the kids. And I went to Western Union. And I, as a mother, I kind of know what and what kids need for back to school. So I sent the um, money enough to buy their back-to-school supplies and necessity to get them started. And still running here, dealing with here. Finally, uh, three months after, he got, he, um, we went on the road, went job-seeking, and finally I walk into a building, and we finally got a job that day. He started working. Started working. Okay, I make sure he get to work to the best of my ability. I didn't have a car at the time, so at times I would have... Uh, my last brother and I, we're not too bad. we kind of we kind of close. So sometimes he would drop him off. I would have my daughter drop him off, or I would direct him how to catch the bus go and give him direction. So he was going to work one month after. He started working. Uh, my son, my older son was in college. So to go back and forth and, you know, taking stuff for him there, you know, it's like you had to have somebody drop you there with whatever he needed. So he was like, he wanted a car. He asked me to help him with the, the money to get a car. That, that was my son, the one that was in college. So I said, I don't want to buy a car for a child. I wanted a car for the home. So whatever we need to drop him down there, my husband was a taxi driver. So I'm like, we had to let him get his license and get a vehicle so we can move back and forth and be independent, independent helping ourselves. So my son came home and uh, we went to get a vehicle. We end up get a, I wanted a used vehicle, but we end up get a brand new vehicle based on my son' credit score and Mike's credit score. Well, my son, my husband just came to the country, so there was no credit to run for him because he just came. So when we wanted to do the paperwork, they said it's not necessary to put his name on the paperwork because he just came in the country. So they had to use my name and my son's name because my son is in college and. I am working, whatever, whatever, our credit was good. So I wanted to get a house because my intention was for us to get the kids back home so all of us could be here. Okay, so we end up, got a car, we had the car. 
my son had a license, so my husband wasn't able to drive because he just came in the country, so he had to, you had to do everything over to get the um, the license in her area. So sometimes he got um, dropped off until my son helped him on the road, go through the book, and he got the license for the, the state that we're living in. So I was working at the time, he's working, I was working days, he was working nights. So there are times when my son drove the vehicle and it would be a problem. What, did he told me he was going here or did he told and I'm like, you're the man, you're home. I'm at work. If he's going somewhere, you find out where is he going or let him know wherever you're going. Make sure he'll be back next time because mom needs to be picked up or whatever. And I mean, the vehicle became a chaos. It was a dramatic thing. Okay, when he, when he came, I won a trip at my job for, EM, for performance. So we end up in Las Vegas for five days. EM, care of the company that I was working with. So he got a free pass, free ticket, free hotel stayed, free food, money, spending money. And uh, we went to Las Vegas. Uh, that was based from the job. All right. Working, continue doing what, my, what, I'm, what I'm doing. There were times he was like, he was so frustrated and he was, I'm like, it takes time. You just got here. It's going to take time to you for you to adjust. There are times when he was complaining about this, about that. And I'm like, I did my best. And it became a chaos. He wanted to go to, he was complaining. He had some issues from Jamaica. So before he left Jamaica, I said, it is expensive to see a doctor over here while you're in Jamaica. Go to the doctor, let him know you're going to leave the country, whatever your situation is. Let him give you some medication to take with you to serve you for a couple months because I'm going to put him on my insurance, but my insurance was going to be a certain date of the year. So it was just a few months. Plus he started working, so a couple months after his job, he would be on his insurance. So he let, I mean, chaos. When you had people, all kind of people calling you, telling you this and telling you that, the main thing you need to do, come home and talk to your partner, work out whatever the situation is. Take the time with your partner, not others out there, else you will cause your home in a chaos. So he would go to work and he would call the family back home and he would tell them all kind of stuff and it was a, uh, it was a drama. It was a chaos. The vehicle was a chaos because if my son drive the vehicle or what, it was a problem. So when the when the bills appear, I kind of show him how things go here. So I said, okay, you're working, I'm working. Uh, let us plan our paycheck to say, okay, what we're going to, the bills to pay, how much the bills going to be. And uh, what we're going to try and save. And if we want to go out, say a month, sometime out of the month to eat or go to the movie, whatever plans we want to do casually for the family, let us plan our paycheck and see how that goes. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> I thought we was getting on, 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 on a track. So he wanted certain kind of meat to eat. And I bought a portion of grocery. I got, we got the same in bank and we got our debit card. So one had, we had both our names on the card. So I bought a portion of grocery and he said he wanted certain meat to eat. So we had to go to a different place to get that meat. So when we went there, since I bought a portion of grocery on my card, I bought the meat on his card. And it was like, why did you use my card? Why did you have to spend money? I said, remember, I just used my car in my portion of groceries. So anyway, it, it's on something else there. So, and it's like, him canceled the card because it, it, I'm like, 
why would you fuss over the card? Anyway, long story short, we've been going on there. So he start having uh, get his influence and he start have his own his own card. So when he get he would put down whatever, whatever. When we got the vehicle, remember, we all went and get the vehicle. Nothing done behind his back. He was the one test drive the vehicle. He was the one making sure everything as a taxi driver and you know they kind of know certain things about vehicles. So I didn't get no vehicle until he came into the state because I didn't drive. So I'm always scared of the road. So he was willing, he said, no problem, he'll he, um, we need the vehicle, he'll do the payment for the vehicle. Nothing done behind his back. He was right there when we're doing the paperwork. I even asked them to put his name on the paperwork as the as the head of the house. They said it's not necessary because there is no credit to run for him. So it's not necessary, but the vehicle belongs to you all. So feel glad, feel happy. I, I was doing years on the bus, taking the bus in the cold with the baby, uh, struggling on the bus, doing what I'm doing, or I'll pay somebody when I need to go to the grocery store and all of that. So it was happy getting a vehicle for us now, doing what we need to do. But after a while, it's the chaos over the vehicle, who drive the vehicle, and it became something else. So I, I guess he was talking to family members I learned there was a WhatsApp group and they were in the WhatsApp group and when he at work at night they would talk and talk with friends and all of that and it became something else. So when the payment to make you know over here you have to pay your bill on time else you know what can happen. So I normally be paying the rest of the bills and he's paying the bill on the vehicle until it start became something else. So the fussing start going on, the argument and whatever, and I'm like, I did not file for you for all of this. And it came down to a point that I had to say to him, look, if I made a mistake on bringing you here because you kept begging, you want to be here, you want to come where we are, you want your family, you want to be around, and I went ahead and I did the best I can to bring you here, I said, look, if you don't want to be here or you're not happy, let me buy your ticket. I don't have a problem. Take you back home. Or I had a family member. I could let you get one of the room down there. Or if you want to go to your family member at X point, I don't mind. Buy the ticket because I'm the one filed the paperwork and brought you here. So I don't have a problem. Pay the money and take you back where you were for peace sake go on and go on and go on he wanted to go to the doctor so I eventually take him to the er for whatever he said he was going to pay a part of the money he was to pay the rest of the money him still not pay that the part it's like it was me to pay the rest of it, it always be money problem it always be money problem and stop it bro. <laughs> It always be money problem. If I need help to go to the store, him we go work, the little boy if he go to the school, and it's like, lo and behold, now me find out say I get involved with woman because I want I want a second trip at the hotel for him persons that goes above and beyond. So I want a second trip to go to another him country, him based on my donation back to Jamaica for persons that goes above and beyond. So I want a second trip after he came here. After I won that first trip, I went to that trip. He was always in his phone and I'm always watching. Why is he always in his phone like that? And kind of, it doesn't matter what he's doing. Once the phone tap him, he said he's in the phone. And I said, something will come out. But one fine day, I, he, um, we were going to sleep and you know, both phone are the same. So I he fell asleep drawing snow in the corner on his side of the bed and I was on the other side. So I need to plug my phone in. So I plug plug out his phone, holding the phone in my hand. Next thing the phone pop up and somebody say, Hi baby, are you okay? And I'm like, What the hell? So I knock on it, I tap my finger. This is the first time I'm going in his phone. I tamp on it on the thing and I'm like, 
both of the phone are the same. Wonder if if I press a little, it will open. And that's when I got into the phone. He was asleep, didn't know what was going on. And I start read from the woman, the woman's, not one woman, you know, woman's. From the women's here in the U.S. to the women's in Jamaica. I even found out even my neighbor. <laughs> and I mean, I got a pen and a paper and I start write out everybody's name and their phone number. And some of them text them and some of them text him and me start send the message. What well, I can send to my phone, send to my phone until I guess the sound of the phone waking and then jump up. And we got into it and him start crying. I start crying. So I guess I stepped downstairs to my son them and you know I was I was hurt. And him it's like him delete the message them out of the phone. So I guess he call him friend them and I tell them the situation. So they must tell him why him not have a lock on him phone. So from that, him start lock the phone. So the the last the woman that he's living with now. It's like that woman have money more than all of the, the other one them. So I found out after I went to the trip and come back, I found out about the different women them. And uh, just the same day, he had me brought something to him at work. When I read the message, I look at the time on the message, I just leave the work building. And he was texting this woman, begging this woman to meet him on the second floor. He need to talk to her. And I'm like, I was just right there in all these messages and this was what going on all along because he would be so moody. The simplest thing you said to him, he got so heated and it went, it went on and on, unstoppable. The place went into a chaos. We, his father died a year after he came up and he asked me to lend him some money so we could go to the funeral. I lent him the money. We went to the funeral all unknown that um, this woman that he was involved with, he was telling the, the um, I guess he was involved, he was involved with different one of them, but one had more money. So that's the one he's living with now. So... After I went to the funeral, I came in, I kind of watched certain things, and uh, it's like my spirit was speaking to me, and um, I was kind of looking at, at certain things. So after I, we went to the funeral, came back, Mark, he, he, um, we wasn't together for a full year, because after all the chaos started going on, and it's like no peace in the house, he would be, you know, going out, at night, after I let him know the Jamaican here is that he can go hang out because I, mean, I try lock him down in the house for him can't go nowhere. So I introduce him to, you know, the Jamaican here as we you know, he might want to come out of the house or so. So he you know, just be in the place the whole time. Lo and behold, him go there and start getting to know the people, them and whatever, whatever. So it's like, we don't become nobody no more. I always want to be out and him, him we gone. Three, four o'clock in the morning, him, him come back. I remember one morning, me I go work, it I go up in a six o'clock and him no come here and the little boy in the house. And we go through all of that. We, we've been through all of that. But I lent him, he was, after that, he was late staying out. After those late staying out of him, going out and on the weekend and coming in late, when I kept talking to him and it kept becoming an argument. So I said, you know what? One night I pack up his stuff and I told him, decide your mind. Is he going to be either or hide? But you can't be going out and coming in three, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock. You have to decide your mind. And it went, it went, it went, it, it, it went a chaos because <laughs> it went a chaos. So he was staying at a relative that I had him got a room from to kind of squash down 
boil down the heat and the argument and all of that. He was still coming here every day, showering here, heating here, all of that. And the dad died. Okay, I had some money. And we said, okay, we're going to the funeral. He said, lend him some money to back up what we need to do. And then when him come back, he would have started here with back. Yes, I know the audience raised hell. Because up to now, I'm not getting the money back. It's on chaos. When me forget get the money back. <laughs> After I came back from the funeral. So what was he? What do you think him did that do with the money? Because he never did that contribute to my, the house. My... My understanding is that the money was his money is going to somebody saving his money back home. So that's that's how uh, I learned. I found a few I found a few Western Union paper after a while and I I learned So him did a survival for a year money while he must see a film. I learned I learned after a while. I found a few Western Union paper up no, he doesn't know and I saved them. And uh he, it, 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 it went on, he started the argument. I was to get his name on the vehicle because I said he's paying for the vehicle. So after a while, you're able to have his name on the vehicle. Not knowing that he got involved with this white woman at the job that he's working. So whatever was going on with him and this woman, he's paying for the vehicle. He's driving the vehicle because my son gets sick and tired of the argument. So I said, let him drive the vehicle. Let him stay with the vehicle. When I get my taxes, I'll get a car for, for you. And then to buy a car for the other son the following year after. So everybody had their own vehicle. And nobody now feeling no problem with nobody to go anywhere. But when me figure the store and stop people and fear, ask him, is a, is a problem. When you go learn to drive, where you know learn? <laughs> he become a problem. If he go to the store with me, a problem in can keep up in the store because me look some price and me go do him. He making this. He make. I remember at the same house the food that come where you fi eat. <clears throat> no, no one bill who will never know. He ma he him involved with this white woman, so she will buy anything of your yard fi me and him take time a sneak or go there so you don't know where I go on. So after we come from the funeral. We was supposed to go to the car company to get his name on the vehicle. So he continually in charge of the vehicle. Never know say I have plan with this woman behind me back. So the woman did a plan now if you go get out a vehicle, give him. So it was after a while. I saw I heard he had the vehicle and I'm like. So what about this brand new vehicle? Because I cannot drive it. And I told you, keep the vehicle. We were supposed to go and get your name on the vehicle to get him so you can, the vehicle be in your hand because I cannot drive it. You're driving it. So just keep the vehicle. Never know she planned for camera to get different vehicles. So me even found paper where she write down, tell him, make sure him get, go to the post office, get change of address and one wine, one wine need for do, and up to now me have all of them in paper those information secretly and in the know. So when we talk about the vehicle, the paperwork him start him tired him this him that him whatever whatever. Lo and behold, still going through the argument and stuff because him way out here and then him say him want come back home, so him come back home and. Before him come back home, him hang up. Him hang up because he was staying, as I tell you, he was staying at a family member. So before him come back home, him did end up at the white woman house. So after me go to the, the, the house, one day you now if you see him, him tell me, say him down the house and me, him walk down there. <clears throat> when me go, him can't come out of the house and I'm like, where you are? I'm outside. You said you're here. So that the time now in, in the den of the honor the white woman house, I live at the white woman house and it was chaos there. So you know that I go drive one wedge in me again. But anyway, fight on him, go on, go on, go on, till one of the time he get a 
all the family member and them talk to him and him say my come back home and what 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 eventually him him come back home till him we here a couple months and then next thing you look no peace in the house again you we are right him come back home you say all right make we lay down and talk about this or try talk about how we are go sort out the bills them how we are go whatever whether and the minute you come up with money him jump up and tear clot that's why he can't bear with me because all me is about money all me is about money. He can't live with me. Kai in turn with me. Now go reach no way and what, what, what. And they going out and coming in. It was still going on. So me say, there's something I do about this. Now, as I tell you, all the time, if you want to listen to the live stream in its entirety, click the link in the description. It will take you to the exact live stream and you can listen to everything that was shared. Here we hear how oh, this one ended, right? While you're over there, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that you do not miss a live stream. And you can participate when we go live and call in and give your opinions as well. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button right here on Unstoppable Recap so that when we drop a recap video, you do not miss it and you will know about the live stream that you possibly missed. All right. Until the next Unstoppable Recap, stay strong, stay motivated, but most of all, remain unstoppable. Unstoppable.